Okay, so I have all this peppermint growing here, naturally and wild. And while one can always take a little bit of the herb from here, but you know, it's not too much. So what I want to do is I actually want to start growing some of this peppermint in a proper bed so that I get a big harvest. But how do I do that? Uh, and uh, what I'm going to show you today is how you can make multiple plants out of uh, your few peppermint plants uh, through stem cuttings. So what I'm going to do now is go pick out some stems from here and then uh, we'll see how we are going to propagate them and then transplant them into our beds to get a very large harvest of peppermint. Okay, so I have now about 8 to 10 stem cuttings and now I'm going to work on them further so that they become good enough for me to propagate them. I'm going to take a glass and fill it with water. I like to keep the glass uh, like transparent rather than a metallic tumbler because then you can see if the roots have started coming up. Now with each one of these, I'm going to remove the leaves which are there on the side. All right, so now here we have a bunch of this peppermint with all the stems clean. And now I'm just gonna simply place it in this glass of water. Yeah, and we're gonna leave it here for a few days, uh, maybe a week or so. We'll keep a track of it and keep seeing when the roots have really come out uh, in a good uh, sort of a dense manner then these will be ready to transplant into your beds. So, see you in a couple of days. Hello, it's day four. It's been four days since we put these uh, cuttings in this glass of water. And we can see tiny roots starting to appear now at the bottom. This is just what we were expecting. We're going to leave these in the water for a little longer. Then we can transplant these cuttings into the ground. Hello, it's day 10 and uh, it's time for us to take a look at our min cuttings which we had kept here for uh, propagation. So uh, they've been lying here in this glass of water with a little bit of sun for a while now and now let's just take a look at the roots. 
uh, you can see that they are getting some uh, good roots now. I think it will be time for us to transplant these now into the ground. And they should be able to uh, take off on their own and do well uh, in the soil now. So uh, this is how we are propagating uh, mint here just from cuttings, uh, putting them in a glass of water, leaving them to stand uh, in a well lit room for about uh, 10 odd days. Uh, once the roots come out, you can pick them up and transplant. Hello, so the mint cuttings uh, with the roots are now finally uh, ready to have a permanent place in the ground. So we've planted them here uh, in a well mulched bed, uh, also something which doesn't get a lot of direct sunlight. So it will remain cool and comfortable. And uh, yeah, we are hoping that this entire area will spread with this mint and we'll always have a ready source of mint to pluck, to either put in our tea uh, or in our lemonade or to make some mint chutney out of. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.